SCP-294. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Protocols. There are no standard special containment procedures on file for item SCP-294. However, only personnel of security clearance level 2 or higher are allowed to interact with it. See document SCP-294-A. SCP-294 is currently being stored on the second floor personnel break room and is monitored by two guards of security clearance level 3 at all times. Description. Item SCP-294 appears to be a standard coffee vending machine. The only noticeable difference being an entry touchpad with buttons correlating to an English QWERTY keyboard. Upon depositing 50 cents US currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid using the touchpad. Upon doing so, a standard 12 ounce paper drinking cup is placed and the liquid indicated is poured. 97 initial test runs were performed, bracket indicating requests for water, coffee, beer, and soda. Non-consumable liquids such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, and motor oil, as well as substances that do not usually exist in liquid states, such as nitrogen, iron, and glass, and bracket. And each one returned a success. Tests run with solid matter such as diamonds have failed, however. As it appears, SCP-194 can only deliver substances that can exist in liquid form. It is of note that after approximately 50 uses, the machine would not respond for further requests. After a period of approximately 90 minutes, the machine seemed to have restocked itself. It is also interesting to note that many caustic liquids that would have eaten through a normal paper cut seem to have no effect on the cups distributed by the machine. Testing is ongoing. As suspected, SCP-294 is moved to the second floor personnel break room as a money-saving venture. Following incident 29401, guards were stationed at the item, and a security clearance became necessary to interact with it. Document SCP A94A regarding incident SCP-294-2901. Uh, uh, On August 21st, 2005, Agent Joseph Redacted attempted to use item SCP-294 to obtain coffee during his allotted break time at 9.30 a.m. At the request of Agent Redacted to, quote, to see what it would do, and bracket, Redacted requested a, quote, a cup of joe, end quote, from the item. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent Joseph Redacted began to sweat profusely and complained of dizziness before collapsing. After moving the unconscious agent to the infirmary, the medical team recovered the contents of the cup dispensed by item SCP-294, a combination of blood, tissue, and other bodily fluids. Tests revealed the DNA strands of the biological material distributed by SCP-294 matched that of Agent Redacted. Agent Redacted made a complete recovery after four weeks of rest and intravenous hydration, x-rays, and CAT scans show no further signs of injury and Redacted has been released. Both agents were reprimanded. Additional security measures of SCP-294 have been recommended. Addendum SCP-294-F After reviewing documentation of SCP-294, Redacted suggested testing SCP-294's ability to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. Addendum SCP-294-H With the overseeing of O5 data expunged, a cup of SCP-075's secretion were used as input. The product has proven to be a requested item, and the cup was able to successfully contain the material. However, the report for incident 
07507 was acknowledged two hours after the test. See addendum bracket SCP-075-M end bracket. The containment production breach had occurred exactly the same time this test was taking place, waking SCP-075 to an active state. It was able to secrete an amount of basic substance equal to the capacity of a coffee cup before emergency containment protocols were applied and it was rendered passive. The liquid was not found in the post-incident investigation. Addendum SCP-294-I Research punched in request for cup of gold. The machine distributed a cup of molten gold. The researcher requested similar precious metals with the same results. Addendum SCP-294-J Researchers punched in from a safe distance, requesting for, quote, cup of anti-water. The machine hummed briefly, then displayed out of range on entry pad. It is theorized that SCP-294 has a limited range of collection and cannot reach into alternative universes or dimensions. Addendum. SCP-294-K. Researchers punched in the request for diamond. SCP-294 briefly hummed, then displayed out of range on entry pad. SCP-294 gives this result for all solid substances. As diamond is a solid crystallization form of carbon, it appears the machine cannot distribute liquid carbon, as this would not result in a diamond. When cup of carbon was subsequently punched in, the machine distributed a cup of liquid carbon. SCP-294 was immune to the damaging effects of the distributed liquid. Addendum SCP-294-M Testing for range of SCP-294's capability for retrieval has been initiated. A unique compound has been formulated and composed of disclosed ratio of redacted brand bleach, redacted brand cola, met rex powder, and, and garam masala. The fluid was created and placed in a sealed container 25 meters away from SCP-294. When requested, the liquid was dispersed. An equal amount of the mixture was no longer present in the original container. Addendum SCP-2940-01 Researcher redacted. Under observation of level 4 personnel, keyed in the request, the best drink I've ever had. SCP-294 dispensed a fluid similar in the appearance of cola. The researcher indicated it is a mixed drink he recalls from a bar during his bachelor party and was convinced it was the best drink. Redacted did not know what ingredients were in the drink besides rum and cola. Further tests indicate to Aspire how SCP-294 gathers information. Addendum SCP-2940-01A Under the same conditions, agent name, the best drink I've ever had, SCP-294 delivered a dark liquid topped with a white foam, which was later identified as Vienna Lager. The cup was printed with a colored picture of five men and two women, drinking beer on the beach. Redacted was one of them. In his briefing, Agent Redacted confirmed that his favorite drink ever was a Vienna Lager he consumed on the beach with his friends. It has now been confirmed that SCP-294 has the ability to directly gather information from someone's mind in order to comply with the given conditions. Addendum SCP 294Q-01 Subject keyed the perfect drink. The machine distributed a cup containing an odorless lavender liquid. When drinking the liquid, the subject appeared to go into shock. Subject later committed suicide, leaving a note that read, quote, I'm sorry, but at this point, everything is just one big letdown, end quote. Requesting such a drink again is highly discouraged. 
none of the components of the drink have yet to be identified. Addendum SCP 294 T 01. Subject keyed in something Cassie would like. The device was heard to hum for about three seconds before distributing an empty cup. Printed on the side of the cup was an image of a traditional soda fountain glass filled with something brown and topped with a white foam. Upon introduction of SCP-085, it was indicated by her that a chocolate banana milkshake was judged delicious. Addendum SCP-294-W Researcher keyed in request for a cup of music. SCP-294 produced a clear, sparkling fluid that tasted vaguely alcoholic. Following ingestion, the subject reported feelings and not hearing a consistent rhythm and demonstrated the ability to move and even dance with a certain fluidity that he had not previously shown. Tests on other abstract concepts is continuing. Addendum SCP-294 AB During a mass security breach, Agent Redacted requested a cup of pertinent medical knowledge while taking shelter inside of the second floor breaking room. Of the four agents in the room, Agent Redacted was the only one who was not injured. SCP-294 poured a cup of clear green liquid. Following the ingestion of the substance, Agent Redacted began mending the other agent's wound in a manner consistent with Foundation medical training. Agent Redacted no longer has the medical training that the liquid provided, and other attempts to recreate the effect have failed. The agent has speculated that this event was an emergency measure taken by the object to ensure self-preservation. Addendum SCP-294-AC Dr. Redacted requested my life story from SCP-294. SCP-294 made humming noises and shook violently for approximately three minutes before providing a highly viscous, opaque black liquid. Upon consumption, Dr. Redacted reported that he remembered everything that had ever happened to him. Following this test, Dr. Redacted returned to his office and returned 48 hours later with a 549-page autobiography. Addendum SCP 294 A D. Researcher produced request consisting solely of the phrase, surprise me. Device produced an opaque cup containing normal liquid, later determined to have been heated to approximately 200 degrees Celsius. Upon receiving vibration from transport, the contents of the cup turned into steam, violently spraying boiling water in a two meter radius. Addendum SCP-294-AF Researcher produced request for Blood of Christ. SCP-294 vibrated and produced the message Ik est erem calex seguenis main, then produced a paper cup containing approximately 0.12 liters of red grape wine. Addendum scp 294 AG. Researcher produced request for a cup of Smyolden blood, a cup of passenger pigeon blood, and a cup of Thomas Jefferson's blood, and received three out of range errors. Addendum SCP 294 AH. A D-Class personnel with an IQ of 90 and low curiosity scores was given written instructions about what to request. The D-Class personnel produced a request for blood of Canis lupus and received a cup of liquid, subsequently identified as wolf blood. The D-Class personnel next produced the request for saliva of Equus ferus cabulus and received a cup of liquid, subsequently identified as horse saliva. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for urine of... I'm just going to write the word on screen here. And received a cup 
of subsequently identified as koala urine. The D-Class personnel next produced a request for cerebrospinal fluid of, here's the word again on screen now, and received a cup of liquid currently undergoing analysis. It is noted that words here were extinct during the late Miocene epochs, approximately 8 million years ago. Addendum SCP 294 AI. Dr. King produced request for a cup of room temperature superconductor and received a cup of apple juice with seeds floating in it. Addendum SCP 294 AJ. Dr. Menchi produced request for a cup of D151839's leukemia and received a cup of fluid. The fluid was microscopically examined and found to contain leukemic blast cells, which were a genetic match to D151839. A second request for a cup of D151839's leukemia resulted in an out-of-range error. D151839 was subsequently found to be leukemia-free. However, within 15 days, the leukemia had reoccurred. Other SCP-294 experiments are currently awaiting approval.